are new to uh, concealed carry or the carry lifestyle in general, the one thing that you should be thinking about immediately is what type of holster you're going to need. Now I would suggest to you that you're going to need at least two types. The primary type, one, would be an inside the waistband holster. Inside the waistband is primarily for concealed carry, not open carry. If you have any plans to open carry, and you should because that's how you probably be training, uh, you'll probably want both of these to train with. But for an open carry to learn basics out at a range where you're drawing from uh, concealment or you're drawing to get on target, you want an outside the waistband holster. An outside the waistband holster is intended for open carry. However, if you get an outside the waistband holster and you're going to use it for open carry, because it could be used for both, you absolutely must have a second level of retention. What does that mean? The first level of retention is just the friction of the part that goes around the gun. And that just keeps the gun from sliding out. So uh, a, a first retention holster, you could just turn it upside down and shake it and the gun shouldn't fall out. Second level retention is a locking device like this. This happens to be a Blackhawk Serpa, but when you put your firearm in, you cannot take it out unless you depress that. And there are different types from different manufacturers out there. But if you're going to open carry, open carry in a double, at least a double retention. This prevents people from doing a gun grab because now they can see your gun and somebody might get froggy and try to take it from you. You also want to train in retention skills how to keep someone from taking your gun even though you have double retention. The next thing that I will say is never, ever, ever buy or use a flimsy holster. What do I mean by flimsy? I mean something where the opening is not held open rigidly. Where the design, you cannot, you cannot force this close. You cannot force this close. The opening is rigid and it stays open so that you can easily put your handgun back in during training. The reason that's important is because with flimsy holsters, holsters that will collapse at the top, right, are actually dangerous because if you're not paying attention, um, you have a safety issue now in reholstering your gun. That's why I don't like belly bands. I don't like anything that isn't rigid at the top. There are plenty of times where you're going to need to reholster using one hand, primarily a strong hand. That is almost impossible to do with a flimsy holster. That is a holster where the opening will not stay open on its own. Kydex or polymer like these don't have that issue. So to recap, you need two types of holsters, one inside the waistband for primarily for, for concealed carry, one outside the waistband for more aggressive training and outside and um, open carry. If you have one of these, you need double retention, period. In both cases, you need to make sure that the opening is rigid. It will not collapse in on the gun. That is true for leather. Kydex or polymer and that's primarily for safety and also helps you with training. The third item that I don't have here is a good strong 
gun belt. And the belt must match the space that the holster is going to fit on. The reason for that is to avoid wobbling of the holster on your belt, which would make it insecure and would also make it difficult for you to reholster. So that's my guidance to you if you're new to concealed carry and the arm lifestyle. Uh, if you have any additional questions, please put them down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Carry on.